Heading to my Aunt Martha's country house for the summer had become a cherished tradition for me. Every year, without fail, she would warmly welcome me into her home, creating a haven of tranquility away from the hustle and bustle of daily life. But this summer, there was an added layer of excitement and liberation that I couldn't wait to embrace. As I packed my bags, I couldn't help but feel a growing sense of anticipation. Aunt Martha had always been supportive and understanding, especially when it came to my desire to cross-dress. It was something I hadn't been able to explore freely at home, but her house offered the perfect sanctuary for me to fully be myself. Once I arrived at her countryside retreat, the familiar scent of blooming flowers and fresh air enveloped me. Aunt Martha greeted me with a warm hug and a smile that could chase away any worries. Welcome, my dear, I'm so happy you're here, she said, her eyes twinkling with kindness. We settled into our familiar routine, and it wasn't long before I found myself in a world of beautiful dresses, colorful scarves, and all the accessories a girl could wish for. Aunt Martha had set up a corner of her house just for me, where I could experiment with different outfits to my heart's content. Each morning, I would choose a lovely dress and carefully apply makeup under Aunt Martha's guidance. It was during these moments that I truly felt like myself, shedding the weight of societal expectations and embracing the freedom of self-expression. It was a relief from the stresses of life, a chance to immerse myself in the simple joy of being. My aunt and I would spend our days together, tending to the garden, cooking delicious meals, and enjoying the serene countryside. I cherished these moments as much as I cherished the opportunity to explore my femininity. But what made this experience truly special was Aunt Martha herself. She treated me with the utmost respect and affection, addressing me as her daughter, and making me feel loved and accepted in a way that few others could. Her unwavering support provided me with the courage to fully embrace my identity. As the summer days at Aunt Martha's country house continued to unfold, I settled into a comforting routine of cross-dressing and self-discovery. Each morning, I would carefully select a sundress from Aunt Martha's extensive collection. With her guidance, I learned to coordinate accessories, apply makeup, and style my hair just the way I liked it. One sunny morning, Aunt Martha burst into my makeshift dressing room, her eyes shining with excitement. Darling, I have wonderful news, she exclaimed. I'm hosting a summer garden party next week, and I'd like you to be a special guest. I couldn't help but feel a mix of anticipation and nervousness. The idea of attending a garden party as Amanda was both thrilling and slightly intimidating. Nevertheless, I knew that Aunt Martha's friends were just as kind and understanding as she was, so I agreed. In the days leading up to the party, we planned my outfit meticulously. Aunt Martha had a stunning sundress that she believed would be perfect for the occasion. It was a soft, pastel blue with delicate floral patterns, and it made me feel like a true summer blossom. On the day of the garden party, Aunt Martha helped me prepare, ensuring that my makeup was flawless and my hair cascaded in soft waves. Looking at my reflection, I couldn't help but feel a sense of pride and empowerment. I was Amanda, and I was ready to face the world as my true self. As the guests arrived, I stood nervously by Aunt Martha's side, my heart racing. She introduced me to her friends one by one, addressing me as Amanda. Their warm smiles and genuine greetings instantly put me at ease. It was clear that Aunt Martha had surrounded herself with a group of kind and open-minded individuals. Throughout the party, I engaged in delightful conversations, sharing stories and laughter with Aunt Martha's friends. They complimented my appearance, praising the dress and my overall demeanor. The acceptance and validation I received from them were nothing short of heartwarming. Underneath the radiant summer sun, we sipped on refreshing drinks, enjoyed delicious treats, and strolled through Aunt Martha's enchanting garden. I felt like a butterfly, free to flutter and explore my surroundings. As the day turned into evening and the party began to wind down, I couldn't help but reflect on the profound journey I had embarked upon during the summer vacation. Aunt Martha's garden party had been a transformative experience, a celebration of my true self in the presence of understanding and supportive friends. As summer drew to a close, my heart became heavy with the realization that my time at Aunt Martha's country house was coming to an end. But fate had an unexpected twist in store for me, one that would extend my newfound identity as Amanda far beyond the summer months. 
A few weeks before I was due to return home, I received a call from my parents. Their voices were strained, and the news they delivered was nothing short of earth-shattering. They were getting divorced. The words echoed in my ears, leaving me stunned and uncertain about my future. With the divorce proceedings underway, my parents had to make difficult decisions about custody. Given the circumstances, they concluded that staying with Aunt Martha would be the best option for me, at least until the dust settled. I was hesitant at first, but my parents assured me that it was in my best interest. As the summer came to an end, I reluctantly returned to Aunt Martha's house, and the transformation into Amanda became a more permanent part of my life. It was a significant adjustment, but my aunt was there every step of the way, offering her unwavering support and guidance. As the school year began, I faced a new challenge, attending school as Amanda. Aunt Martha had thoughtfully enrolled me in a different school district, where no one knew me as Alex. The thought of starting fresh was daunting, but I knew that I couldn't go back to hiding my true self. On my first day of school as Amanda, I wore a stylish yet modest outfit that my aunt had carefully selected. As I walked through the unfamiliar halls, I felt a mixture of anxiety and determination. I knew that this was an opportunity to live life authentically, and I was determined to seize it. The students at my new school were surprisingly accepting. There were moments of curiosity and questions, but overall, my classmates and teachers treated me with respect and kindness. The sense of liberation I felt was unlike anything I had ever experienced before. Aunt Martha continued to be my pillar of strength, helping me navigate the challenges of my new life as Amanda. She introduced me to local support groups and therapists who specialized in gender identity issues, ensuring that I had the resources I needed to thrive. As the months passed, my confidence as Amanda grew. I made new friends, explored my interests, and began to embrace my true self in a way I had never imagined. The divorce of my parents had forced me into an unexpected journey, but it was a journey that ultimately led me to self-discovery, acceptance, and the realization that I was meant to be Amanda all along.